Hello everyone, my name is Rochelle Innocent and I'm the founder and CEO of Project Purpose. Welcome to our channel. Our community is focused on fostering the intellectual and character development in children. We do this through our parent-child workshops that are focused on four themes. Autonomy, self-efficacy, compassion, and self-concept in order to cultivate grit, perseverance, and resilience in each child. And we are so thrilled to be offering one of the first of its kind digital, virtual, and continuous learning environments, enabling parents and children to connect from all around the world. At Project Purpose, our overarching mandate is to renew and rebuild family, community, and relationships. Our different social media platforms provide us with an opportunity to have discussions and to create space on all topics that relate to family, community, and relationships with ourselves as well as with others with a primary focus on mental health and education. More precisely, the ways that the institutions of mental health and education play a role and have played a role in our societies at large. These discussions and debates provide us with an opportunity to think critically about what needs to change within these structures for us to live up to our bold slogan, support, protect, and empower each child through youth-focused development, better known as leadership in juvenescence. We recognize that in valuing our children's leadership potential, this also translates as recreating and co-creating environments, both socially and politically, that will enable our children to to thrive. For those of you who are particularly keen on the topic, we also write thought pieces every other Sunday. We actually just dropped a thought piece this past Sunday, so be sure to meander over to the website and check out our online content. Now, if it is the case that you are looking for a listening alternative, well, we're available on 12 different podcast platforms for your listening leisure, and we've provided you with access to the links in the description down below. Now, as is the convention, be sure to subscribe hit the post notification bell so that you are aware of every time we post. And of course, if you like these conversations and you want to keep them going, like, comment, and share this segment. Let's get into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment here on Project Purpose. For those of you who are new, we cover topics that relate to two, mental health, mental wellness, and education on a week-by-week -week basis. And today our topic of discussion is mental wellness. And on the topic of mental wellness, I am myself currently recovering from a cold, so pardon me that my voice is a little bit off-kelter, but I thought it would be the right opportunity to discuss what it is that I'm doing right now and talk about recalibration. So as a project manager, which is what I typically would do in daylight hours when I'm not here talking to all of you, we do often take the opportunity to recalibrate. So to calibrate and to recalibrate because you have different people focusing on different aspects of the project. So you just wanna make sure that you're aligned as you're building speed and as you're building momentum and as you're working towards the common objective. Because sometimes if you don't have those alignment meetings, if you're not catching up with one another, then you can find that someone is off track and it can completely knock the entire project plan off track. And I find that this is a great way to also manage my own life, to have touch points when it is the case that I'm pushing towards a specific objective and I'm doing so many different things in order to attain that objective. Sometimes it's important to take a step back to see, well, how effective is it for me to be putting my energy in these specific spaces to attain that specific objective and what needs to change? And that's essentially what I'm here to talk about when it comes to recalibration and I think that recalibrating is just an opportunity to really maximize on hindsight, right? Hindsight is 2020, but oftentimes we leverage hindsight way in the future, not when it's like actually information that we could use to pivot and to adapt our strategy. So I like to actually leverage hindsight every week or two or, you know, when I'm sick and I, I don't really have the energy to push forward, but I do still have the opportunity to think and reflect on where my energy has gone and how best to leverage my energy moving forward. And I think this is so important because there's such a huge difference between momentum and movement. And often when we're so busy just trying to make things happen, we start moving and it can really 
quickly, without us even realizing it, become us being like a hamster in a wheel where we're just moving for the sake of moving. We're burning a lot of energy. We're burning a lot of steam. We're not getting anywhere. Whereas if you want the kind of movement that actually lends to momentum, where we're really pushing towards our objective, we're gaining ground, we're gaining traction, then it also requires moments of reflection where we think about our strategy, we think about what we've done, and we think about, well, what can we do better? And I think that it's really important to be self-aware and to be honest with yourself if it is the case that you want to progress. You can't always stroke your ego in cases where, you know, success really has a very specific definition. Sometimes it's good to give yourself the opportunity to see, well, what could you do better? Like, what have you done, but you could do better? And like, not from a place of criticism, but just from a place of wanting better for yourself, just being honest about where your energy has been that you don't need to keep putting your energy into. Or even giving yourself the opportunity to think about, well, what are the opportunities that I haven't maximized on? Like, where has my energy not been? How do I pivot enough to put some of my energy in those places to see if whether or not that gives me the kind of return that I'm looking for? I think that's super important. I think it's so important that we iterate between action and inaction. And in inaction, we really take the time to reflect very critically about what we've done during those action moments so that when we move back to action, we can be intelligent about the way that we move back. We can be strategic. We can be decisive in the way that we put our energy moving forward. And then we can be a lot more confident that, you know what, like I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm getting closer. And I think that this new strategy is really going to work. And so that's essentially the recalibration exercise. Also, it involves giving yourselves moments of celebration. I think it's really, really easy to become discouraged, to become exhausted, or or just to lose the excitement involved with pushing towards an objective if the objective is fleeting, if it, keeps, if it seems to be a moving target and it's like avoiding you. You can become discouraged or you might want to like pivot your attention elsewhere or do other things. So I think that it's just very important that you give yourself also the opportunity when you're doing your hindsight reflection, you're thinking about the wins, and the areas of opportunity and the areas you know where we can do a little bit better the areas of improvement where we celebrate the wins we celebrate the progress we've made the traction we've made even if that progress in those in that area where we have traction is the doors that we've closed definitively because we're like well no we were confident that our energy doesn't belong in those places and that is success in and of itself like knowing what doors or what trajectories what alternatives are not for you is in and of itself progress as you know even if it's not directly in relation to the objective it's still important, it's still significant, and it's still worthy of celebration. So I think every action and inaction is super important, is super critical. It gives you information that you can use to just be intelligent in the way that you use your energy moving forward. And even like the support that you ask for, right? Like if you're asking for support and you're not getting it, even that's information about like the way that you're navigating through your network or who is part of your network or who isn't part of your network. All of it is, is great information that you can leverage, not just in this moment, during this cycle, pushing towards the objectives that you're pushing towards now, but also in the future as well. Like all of the information is not just utility for now, it's utility for later too. So I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about recalibrating, talk a little bit about taking the moment to reflect when you're pushing towards an objective and it's a, like a midterm objective, even short term objectives. Like if it's a week or longer, you still have the opportunity to every two days take a moment, reflect on the actions that you've taken and if whether or not you want to pivot here or pivot there and then, you know, push forward with that, with those insights in hand. In any case, we're going to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to give my voice an opportunity to rest this week but thank you so much for tuning in hopefully that was valuable information for you when you think about recalibrating when you think about like the things that you're doing to push towards the objectives that matter to you just remember it's important to give yourself the opportunity to reflect to pause to think about what your energy has been put towards and where your energy might be best served in the future in any case so that was it for now now before letting you go I would be remiss if I didn't let you know that we will be going live at least twice a month every month for the foreseeable future on our Facebook page. So definitely be sure to tune in. Now these events are paid events. So if you do see yourself participating in our community on an ongoing basis, then definitely be sure to check out our package plans. Yes, so we do offer package plans over and above our live events, as well as access to webinars and workshops, largely focused on self-mastery over and above these events. So definitely tune in, be part of our game changer community, being part of the change that you want to see, allowing us a small role to play in your journey. We are on the road to 1K, so we do invite you to follow us across all of our social media platforms, and we look forward to chatting with all of you very soon. We'll talk to you later.